In this video, let us see about how to convert a decimal number to octal number in a simple way. So, the step by step procedure is given. You can also cross check your answer. This material will be very useful if you are preparing for your competitive exam. So, decimal number varies from 0 to 9 and totally we have 10 numbers. So, the base of decimal number is 10. For octal number, the number varies from 0 to 7 and totally we have 8 numbers. The base of octal number is 8. So, let us learn how to convert the decimal number to octal number using three examples. So, example 1, 2 and 3. Okay. So, three numbers are given. We are going to convert the decimal number into octal number. Always remember, when you are specifying an octal number, put it in a bracket and specify as 8. If it is not specified, it will be considered as a decimal number by default. So, the first example decimal number is 6. So, this number is less than 7. So, you see this table decimal number and octal number. So, till 7 decimal number and octal number are same. Only after 7 the octal number will change. Okay, After 7, it goes to 1, 0, 10. After that, it will go to 1, 1. So, till 7, whatever decimal number is given, 0 to 7, it will be equal to the octal number. So, there is nothing to convert. Just write the octal number as 6. So, this represents the decimal 6 is equal to if nothing is specified, it will be considered as a decimal number. So, decimal 6 is equal to octal 6. Let us take the second example, decimal number of 78. How to convert this one into octal? You have to go for repeated division. So, for decimal to binary conversion, which we have already seen in the previous video, we also applied the same repeated division formula. So, what there we will do? Repeatedly, we will divide the given number by 2 because the base of binary is 2. Now, in this case, decimal to octal conversion, divide the given decimal number by 8 as the base of octal number is 8. So, divide by 8. So, if you divide by 8, what you will get as the quotient 9. So, 9 8s are 72. Remaining you will get a remainder of 6. So, 6 you write it separately. Again divide this by 8. You will get 1 here and the remainder will be again 1. That is 1 8s are 8. So, remainder you will get 1. So, now you mark the arrow from bottom to top. So, Decimal number of 78 is equal to 116 in octal. So, it is very easy. The decimal to octal conversion is similar to binary conversion except that you are dividing by 8 for octal conversion. Remaining thing is same. Let us see how to check whether our answer is correct or not. You take this number 116, so it is an octal number. So, for each position there will be a weightage. So, for this position that is the least significant bit, it is 8 power 0. And for this position the weightage is 8 power 1 and for this position it is 8 power 2. So, it keeps on going 8 power 3, 8 power 4 like this if you have many digits. Now, you calculate it. What is 8 square? It is 64. 8 power 1 is 8 and 8 power 0 is 1. So, now 1 into this 64 plus 1 into 8 plus 6 into 1. It comes to 78. So, whatever you have calculated is correct. So, in case if you do, uh, do any mistake, here the summation will be different. 
Now let us take another example with the decimal point. So a fractional part is also there, integer part and fractional part is there. So already we have seen if you have a fractional part, you have to do the conversion separately for integer part separately and um, fractional part separately. For integer part, you have to go for repeated division and for fractional part, you have to go for repeated multiplication. So let us see, take this integer part first, 153 divide by 8, you will get 19 and a remainder of 1. Again divide by 8, you will get 2 and remainder is 3. So the octal number for this 153 is 231. So 231. So integer part we have finished. Next we will calculate for the fractional part. First let us check whether we have done it correctly or not. So 231 you write the weighted values. So 8 power 0, 8 power 1 and 8 power 2 which 8 square is 64, 8 power 1 is 8 and 8 power 0 is 1. So 2 into 64 plus 3 into 8 plus 1 into 1. So if you add it you are getting 153. So your answer is correct. Now we will do for fractional part. Now let us do the fractional part. So the fractional part is 0.54 multiply by 8. So it comes to 4.32. Take the integer part out and write it separately. Again take the fractional part alone. Multiply by 8 and you will get an answer. So here you have an integer part which you write it outside. Again repeat the same process. Multiply the fractional part by 8 and uh, take the integer part outside. So repeat it for 5 times. So you are getting this is um, your answer. Always for fractional part the arrow should be from top to bottom. So your answer is 0 0.42436 to the base 8. So total answer for this decimal number is Combine these two with the decimal point. So this is the equivalent octal number. So let us summarize what we have seen. Octal numbers are 0 to 7 and the base of octal number is 8. For decimal to octal conversion, go for repeated division. Divide the number by 8. Note the remainder and write the remainder from bottom to top in case of integer part. If you like the video, do subscribe to Read Electric Vehicle channel. Thank you.